Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Peace be upon your respected viewers and welcome to a new episode of the Beliefs of Islam. Today's episode is the witness testimony continued. In the previous episode, however, we introduced the complex nature of witness testimony as a means to introduce the miracle of the Quran from a linguistic perspective to those who do not speak Arabic and hence are in not a position to decide what could be considered as miraculous. We have argued that in all walks of life, people make recourse to the testimony of the others in accepting the vast majority of that which we take to be knowledge in general. However, we take testimony and the testimony of others in reading history and reading translations of texts which we have no access to due to the lack of knowledge of the language such texts were originally composed in. There are, however, times in which we may have rational justification to reject testimony of course, when testimony is isolated to a group of people who would have benefited from affirming the claim they testify to, and then we could have justification in being suspect about such testimony. In this regard, with assessing the miracle of the Quran from a linguistic perspective, it's necessary to take the following into account. First, the sophistication of the poets in Arabic language at the time of the Jahiliya, meaning the pre-Islamic era, just as the English language is said by experts in English literature to have reached its peak in terms of eloquence and expression in the time of Shakespeare. All Arabic experts by the non-Muslim, Muslim, Arab and un-Arab alike have agreed that the Arabic language reached its peak and the time which came immediately before the Prophet Muhammad, Allah's blessings and peace be upon him, namely the Jahiliya period. Now to quote the Quranic scholar as Suyuti, he states the following, when the Prophet brought the challenge to them, they were the most eloquent rhetoricians, so he challenged them to produce the entire likes of the Quran. And many years passed and they were unable to do as so. Allah says, let them then produce a recitation similar to it. If indeed they were truthful, then the Prophet challenged them to produce 10 chapters like it, where Allah says, say bring them 10 chapters like it and call upon whoever you can besides God if you are truthful. Then he challenged them to produce a single chapter where Allah says, or do they say, he the Prophet has forged it. Say, bring a chapter like it and call upon whomever you can besides God. If you are truthful, when the Arabs were unable to produce a single chapter like the Quran, despite them being the most eloquent rhetoricians among them, the Prophet openly announced the failure and inability to meet this challenge and declared the inimitability of the Quran. Then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, Say, if all of humankind and jinn gather together to produce the like of the Quran, they could not produce it, even if they helped one another. We will continue our analysis of this issue in the next episode. Thank you very much indeed for being with us. And assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.